great. Uh, when you're immobilizing somebody, you notice they have a neck roll, okay? Most of the time when people put a neck roll on somebody, after they use a cervical collar, of course, you should always use that. You get the collar on, they slap that neck roll here, you put a strap on the forehead, and what do you got? Hyperextension, not very safe. So what we do, we give you head pads. These, uh, I, I wanted to say something else about that neck roll. It's made out of a very, very soft foam. Take somebody out of a vehicle or something uh, with that foam pad behind their head, lay them down. Okay, that foam pad is so soft it compresses and, and the head straps come loose and nobody's immobilized. So what have you accomplished? You wasted a lot of time. So what we do is we give you head pads that are extremely firm. When you squeeze these things, I mean, they hardly give it all. Just enough to where it won't hurt the back of your head when you lay somebody down. The weight of the head will not compress these enough to, to loosen head strap. So when you lay your patient down, he's still immobilized. So, and then, in addition to that, uh, we don't want that neck roll here. We want the, the, the padding right behind the occiput, right there. So if you, if you don't give people something that is round and fits in a curved area, they won't put it in there because these won't fit in there. The only place they'll go is behind the head where they belong. Okay? Uh, also, if you have somebody in a uh, holeless nylon litter, I'm sure most of you have seen those, you pick them up, or maybe a, a Neil Robertson or the litters that have slats or the skid stretcher, every one of these litters that I've just talked about, when you pick a patient up, what happens? The shoulders come forward this way. Okay, if you have a clavicle fracture or something like that, it is very comfortable. In fact, you're going to have this guy screaming like crazy and uh, everybody's going to be shooting at you. Okay. What we do, uh, we make a board that fits behind the device. You'll see when we get the thing out that it'll fit right behind the shoulders with the top edge level with the shoulder. And it goes behind the, uh, the spine splint and prevents the stretcher from being able to lift the shoulders and there's no compression at all. Uh, it makes a big difference. And then the Velcro on here holds it in place so that it won't slip out of the way uh, as you're carrying or dragging this thing down a trail or whatever. Okay, then our head straps, there's a couple of things. Number one, they don't stretch. They don't come loose. There's so much Velcro on this device that you can pull like crazy. And you're not going to pull these straps loose uh, unless you actually peel them off. They don't it's, it takes a lot of strength just to pull them off in shear, so you don't have to worry about it. The only way they come off easily is if you peel them off, and that has to be done on purpose. Uh, the big thing about this is this strap right here. We've got what we call a disposal pad. It's an open cell foam, and it's got this stuff on here that it, uh, sticks to the Velcro. So you attach this right over the forehead area, and when you put that on the forehead, it will only the only movement you get is the tissue moving over the bone. It, uh, it grips the tissue very well and it doesn't slip. Even if the guy is sweaty or got a real oily skin, doesn't matter. If you get this down over the supraorbital notch, over the eyebrows, and when you put enough pressure on, it actually pulls the eyebrows back, kind of holds the eyes open a little bit. And if it's tight enough to do that, you know that you've got that guy's head immobilized well enough. And uh, the Velcro isn't going to allow you to get it too tight, so you're going to be in real good shape. Uh, and then if this thing is contaminated, peel it off and throw it away. There's 10 more of them right here in the pouch, so you don't have to worry about running out. When you get down to one or two, order another bag. It's, they're cheap. Okay. Uh, the chin strap, we don't have one. We use a collar strap. When we get the cervical collar on our patient, we put this strap under the chin on the cervical collar, right under the chin piece and then bring it back in as straight a line as we possibly can. That way, if that patient tends to vomit, he can get his mouth open. We're not locking that chin closed this way, you know? Uh, we don't need it. If we're gonna immobilize this thing, why do we wanna kill him from vomit, you know? So, the big thing is, this is not for this. The reason that we got this split is if there's some reason you don't have a cervical collar, uh, if you're out in the field, you might not be carrying one, but you might have this thing, okay. There is another possibility. You can get this across here 
and then with this strap above the nose here, that keeps it from slipping downward, okay? It's not very comfortable, but it'll hold the head and keeps the chin from coming out and changing the, uh, uh, moving the cervical spine. That's what we're after. So, you know, I like to keep these guys as comfortable as I possibly can, but if it's the difference between life and comfort, I think he's gonna thank you for making him miserable. So, anyhow, uh, the spine splint itself it is the only part that fits in the main body of this bag. You step on a corner of the bag, it makes it real easy to get out. Not very big. It's less than half the size of your kit as far as actual size when you look at it. Uh, we have to make it small so we can get it inside this rolled up stretcher. Notice the amount of Velcro on these head flaps. You've always got something to attach those straps to. If you've got a, a patient in a sitting position, somebody in a driver's seat of a tank or APC or something like that, when you open this up to put it behind them, all you do is open this white tab, open it this much. This goes towards the patient's back. Then you, after you get it in there, somebody's maintaining manual immobilization, holding that head nice and still. 